it must be a WL. I know I haven't filmed a video for you guys in so long, but if you follow me on Snapchat, you know that that's because I just have been having so much trouble with my lighting. So I really hope you guys like the lighting in this video. And if you do, please make sure to let me know. And today I filmed a kind of back to school get ready with me for you guys. So I do show you guys a whole face of makeup. I know that makeup might be a little bit dramatic for some of you, but I do show different variations of it from how to go from softer to build it up to kind of this look. So I really do hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, please make sure to let me know by clicking that thumbs up button. Also, if you guys want more makeup tutorials, because I would love to start filming lots of makeup tutorials for you guys. And yeah, that's about it. Oh, and I also want to say thank you guys so much for almost 10,000 subscribers. I cannot even believe it. I never even thought my channel would ever even reach that much. But I don't want to keep talking. So let's just get started. I hope you guys enjoy the video. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so I'm not going to prime my face because all primers have been breaking me out. And I just prefer not to prime my face just because of that. I use like different steps to do it. Again, this will be a talk through just because I haven't filmed in so long. Figured you guys might want to like, you know, maybe hear me talk. Maybe. So we're going to start off by concealing our face. I lied. We're going to start off by color correcting our face with my favorite color corrector, the Smashbox color corrector, the dark orange one. This has become my new go-to and I do want to do a complete new background routine video for you guys. I'm just going to kind of speed through the background routine right now just so you guys can kind of like get a more in-depth one in a future video, probably my next one or two videos. It will be that. So let's just get straight into it. Basically, I'm going to get my color corrector for some level. Let me sharpen it first. Maybe that's a good idea. So for the beginning of the video, we're going to start off with a little bit of a fail. I'm not at home right now and I don't have a sharpener. <laughs> this is like my go-to, so I absolutely have to use it. But what I'm going to do is just like kind of get as much as I can. And I guess we'll focus it on the spots I mainly need it. So we're going to put it on any areas I have pigmentation. As you guys can already tell the difference between this side and that side. I love this color corrector. So now that we did the mouth area, it does look a little bit light, but once we put our foundation on, it's going to look totally fine. I also like to do a little bit under the eyes, since I do have a lot of pigmentation under the eyes. So we did that, and our face is a little bit more corrected. We're going to go in with my new everyday foundation, which is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. I am in the shade Deep Honey. Like I always apply just dots all over the face and blend it up. And this is a Sephora collection brush, which I absolutely love. I use it on all my clients as well. It's the number 56, I believe. I'll put it down right here. Now we've done that, we kind of have a clear canvas. Our next step is going to be to conceal the face. So we're going to use the Makeup Forever Concealer in the shade number 14. I would not recommend this concealer for the under eye area since it is a thicker consistency. It is meant for blemishes, but I find that it's really doing the job for me, so I do wear it. But I also make sure to always put on eye cream and stuff, but I would not recommend it for the under eye area. I'm just done my NYX concealer, so I'm currently using this. And I just put it in this area because I do highlight a lot under the eye, so I just leave it just where I basically need it. Since I don't use a primer, I love using a setting powder now, and that is the uh, Cover Effects powder, this one right here. This is just the matte setting powder, and it is loose, and it's the darkest shade, so it gives me a little bit of coverage. Not really, I like it. It has no coverage, but it definitely helps my makeup last longer, and I just focus it on the areas that I get really oily in, which is like right here, basically my nose. my mouth area, my smile lines. I find that this powder really makes like life easier because like it doesn't really sit in my smile lines and I love that. Ta-da! Now that we're all smooth and stuff, we can get on to the fun stuff. So we're gonna start by highlighting and I'm gonna be using my NYX concealer in the shade number seven. I love this color because it's kind of like warm but it has good coverage and it's like brown at the same time. I also like a, I always like a highlight shade that's warm. I find that's very brightening. So we're just gonna go ahead and apply this in a triangular formation. I'm also gonna do a video on cream highlight and contour as well. So stay tuned for that. Now, of course, this is a lot of makeup for a back to school video, but I just wanted to do a video where you're like actually can wear makeup and go because I find that a lot of back to school videos are very like natural and stuff. And honestly, that is probably how I would go to school. But I did that video for my like summer get ready with me. So if you guys want something a little bit like really natural, I would go with that video. But if you want to actually wear a little bit of makeup, hopefully you like this look. <laughs> 
So we're just gonna go ahead and blend that all out. Now that we've done that, I am definitely gonna still bake my face. Whether it's a no makeup look, no makeup makeup look or anything, I always bake my face, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you and be like, I don't do it. And of course, it's not a step you have to do, but I personally have really, really creasy under eyes, especially with this NYX concealer. It's very, very creamy, so I have to bake my face. So as always, I'm gonna be using the Ben Nye Luxury Banana Powder in order to do that. But again, you don't gotta do it. Just gonna go ahead. Now that we've done that, I don't really like pack on too much or anything like that as you guys know when I am trying to do something a little bit quicker. So we're going to go ahead and contour with our My Anastasia Custom Palette. I will list the shade down below. I'm using the darker one right now just because I am much darker because it's summertime. So let's go ahead and contour. I don't do anything like too serious. I just like literally put a little bit of blending out. Nothing too intense. Nothing too intense. I swear I can't talk now like I started so much but let's go ahead and put it in. Put it on. And of course, you don't really have to contour your face when you go to school or anything like that. It's all personal preference. Sometimes it's even nice to just like bronze up the face to add a little bit of dimension but still look really glowy. I like to do the nose area too with the same exact shade. I just like to pinch the brush I'm using and just do lines down. Nothing super neat. This is not like a glamorous look. This is just something I would do really quick, so. For leftover, just like dust it under here. Nothing super ready. No one has that long to do their makeup in the morning, unless you're really that dedicated. So now let's do our brows, my super overgrown brows, let's do that. My new like absolute holy grail for brows is the Benefit Groove Proof Brow, hello. Well, it's not really focusing, and I remember this not focusing before too. It's the Benefit Goof Proof Goof Proof Brow Pencil. It's kind of like the definer from Anastasia. My brows are super good out, so this is not going to look great, but let's just attempt to do something right now. Well, so I always comb it out, and honestly, this lasts forever. It's been more than two months, and I use it every day, and it still lasts. Whereas if you use the Brow Wiz from Anastasia, you're going to be lucky if it lasts for like 25 days. So let's go ahead and put this on. So we trace it, then fill it in, then comb this ish up. Got that. I didn't really focus on the front because we kind of really can't. So let's do the other side. So now that we attempted to fill in the hairy brows, they look really, really, really bad. Oh my god. Let's just leave it. I excuse, please apologize. I please, what am I saying? Please excuse me for my nasty brows. Let's go ahead and dust all this powder off. You add some blush and highlight, and then eyes, and then lips, rubble stuff. So for blush, I'm gonna be using Torrid by NARS. It is my favorite all day, everyday blush. It's super natural, looks good on everyone. You don't really have to wear blush. Like I don't really wear brush blush often. What are we gonna do next? Highlight! Highlight! So we're gonna highlight with the Anastasia Glow Kit in Sun Dip because obviously I'm gonna highlight with that. That's my favorite palette right now, like in general. So I'm gonna take the shade Bronze. So it's this shade right here, the darker shade. And we're just gonna go ahead and highlight the face. So I love Anastasia's brow. I mean, what am I saying? What am I saying through this video? I'm gonna take the Anastasia um, Highlight Brush A23. It's my favorite highlight brush. And we're just gonna go ahead and highlight face just like that i mean like for school i really feel like if you're not wearing much makeup you can even do foundation a bunch of like highlight brows and mascara and a gloss and you're good So now that we've done that, let's do the eyes. A uh, product which I've started to use again, which I totally forgot about, is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This primer potion is the best. Always, I set it with my MAC Studio Allied Skin Finish in the shade Give Me Sun. So I'm just going to speed through that since you guys have seen me do it so many times. So we're just going to apply. It. 
and I only use it with this brush. This is a Morphe brush. I don't know the number. There's no number on it. So I apologize, but it's kind of like a foundation brush. It's just like really dense, so it really packs on the powder. So for the eyes, I definitely wanted to go for something a little bit different and not like the typical like neutral eye which is like mascara and stuff. As I said, if you guys are interested in that look, you could just look at my summer get ready with me. I will direct it down below. I, I will put a direct link down below. I can't talk. So today I wanted to do something a little bit grungy just because I felt like it kind of went with my look and fall time is coming and the grungy look is so cute. But I'm not saying it's like typical grungy look because of course there's a lot of history behind that and all that stuff But to me this is kind of a grungy look and it's also gonna be the easiest makeup eye makeup look ever Only two shadows it's gonna have these two shadows right here both of them are my go-to shades i use them every day and i love kind of like a warm smoky eye kind of thing but this is super natural so you could wear it like whenever so this is the first shade we're gonna be using this is the shade sienna from anastasia i use this as my transition shade every day of my life ever since i bought this so i love this color and this is the next shade this is called deep plum but it's really just more of a deep 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 brown so we're gonna be using both of these shades to create the eye look so let's get started okay so to start off we're gonna go with sienna i'll tell you guys when i switch up the colors but we're gonna take sienna and we're gonna put this you always want to top off the excess because her shadows are super duper pigmented so we're gonna take this shade and we're gonna put this right along the crease area just very messily because again as i said we're just doing like a really quick like easy smoky eye i guess it's not really even a smoky eye it's just like a very like soft grungy look all over the crease and like blow it out so when i blow it out what i really like to do is just go like take the edge of the brush and just like fluff that stuff out so in a normal eyeshadow look, I would just keep this on the crease area, but today we're also going to put this on the rest of the lid because this is going to be the main shadow color of our whole eye look. So now that we did that, it's like super not like you could even just do this and pop on some eyeliner or mascara and you're good. But just to add a little bit more dimension, I'm going to get the dark brown. We're going to take like a little bit of a thinner kind of crease brush this is the mac 217 i love this brush we're going to use the edge of it and we're just going to put this in the crease area this is just going to add a little bit of dimension and just not make it look as flat and as it is which is one shade so i'm just working from the outer to kind of the inner and we're just going to blend that ish out going back with that shade and just use it to kind of blend everything out so i'm going to put it right back where we already put the brown and blend that out and just make sure there's no like harsh lines and stuff i'm not trying to i'm not going to go ahead and make like an even line or anything like that because again i just want it to be like super messy and like casual if that makes sense that's it for the eyes <laughs> let me do Okay guys, so here's the eye look. It's like super simple and as I said, it's just like something really easy to do. And then you could definitely go ahead and smoke out the lip bottom as well, which is not necessary. I could definitely say you could just do mascara and it'll still look cute. But for the purpose of the video, make it pop a little bit more in the video. I am going to smoke out the bottom just a little bit as well, just so I can show you guys how you can do it if you do want to do that. So what I'm going to do, I'm sorry I keep looking at myself. I'm just really trying to get used to this lighting. But what I'm going to do is go in with the darker brown shade with this brush. This is from like one of their Naked palettes. And I really like it because it's super dense to just get really close. So let's go in with the dark brown. I'm going to literally go as close to the lash line as possible and just apply this all the way as you go towards the inner you want to make your hand a little bit light just like that and after we do that we're going to take the orange shade and also go in but we're going to just let me show let me show you <laughs> we're going to go in and just go a little bit under that and just kind of like blend it out you want to just kind of do fluffy motions add a little bit of black liner too just because i want to you definitely don't have to i feel like the black liner is definitely going to make it look a little bit more dramatic so if you don't like to wear too much makeup this you can either do the first way this way or with the black liner so i'm giving you like three eye looks okay look a little something like this so i'm going in with this dior uh black eyeliner pencil you definitely don't even have to use you can use like any black liner the sephora collection one is awesome i just have this one so i'm using it but we're just gonna go ahead and line our eyes even like tight line it just so your lash line looks a little bit thicker i just feel like it really makes the whole eye look pop and i absolutely 
love it. Okay, so now that we did the eyes, the last step for the eyes is of course mascara. I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara um, for a drugstore one. You guys know I love the Maybelline one. I'm just done and I have so many mascaras so there's no need for me to buy it. But usually I would curl my lashes prior to mascara but I don't have a curler so let's just apply this. Okay, so since we went for like a really like warm kind of eye look, I also wanted to make sure the lip was warm and kind of brown as well. So of course, if you guys guessed it, I'm going to be using Anastasia Ashton. But to make it a little bit more brown, because this is kind of like a peachy kind of orangish brown on me, I'm going to line my entire lip with the Sephora Collection Brown Lip Liner in the shade number 17. So let's go ahead and do that. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead to the highlight. Okay guys, so that is basically the finished look, but we have to make sure to one, do one last thing and that is to set our face with setting spray, so let me find that. So of course, I'm going to be using the none other than the, that doesn't make sense, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm genuinely like not trying to be funny, I just like stutter so much when I talk but I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay D like setting spray so let me just put my hair back okay guys so there you have it this is the finished makeup look I hope you guys enjoyed it I definitely know it is a little bit dramatic but again I just show you guys different variations of the eye look and I really hope you guys liked it if you guys do want more makeup tutorials make sure to let me know so I know because I would love to make more for you so make sure to click that like button if you like it and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys